Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, go ahead and open your web browser and download VMware Workstation if you don't have it. I really uh, recommend uh, VMware Workstation over VirtualBox or Hyper-V because you will face with a lot of issues, especially with this type of uh, virtual machines like Kali Linux or Parrot OS. So it's much better that you stick uh, with something that's more stable and I haven't had any issue with VMware. Uh, I used uh, all of those other platforms, but uh, you'll face with a lot of error like resolution issue or sometimes you get black screen. Uh, most of the time you're unable to install your uh, Wi-Fi adapter for like, you know, any type of wireless attack. So it gives you a lot of headache and it's tough figuring everything out around it. But uh, this platform is very user friendly. I never had issue with it, never any specific errors. And uh, I understand, you know, it's a paid application. The free version is also available, but, you know, I like to pay uh, paid version, the free version does the same thing. The only thing you need to do is you can log in. And if you're a student, actually you can get a good discount on it. So make sure you get your discount if you're a student. After you install your VMware workstation, what you need to do is you just need to uh, navigate to Kali's website. Let's go from beginning. Uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna include all the links down below, but it's gonna be Kali.org. And then we navigate to the downloads page and the ISO file that you need will be the Kali Linux 64 installer. So uh, I already downloaded, but you can just simply click on it and uh, download it in any place in your computer that you like. And as soon as you download it, you just need to navigate to your VMware workstation. I'm just gonna launch it right here. You can either create a new virtual machine um, from the home uh, dashboard, or you can go to file and select new virtual machine. Uh, we stick with the uh, typical setting. Uh, we're not gonna do any type of special customization. Just gonna select the installer disk. We're gonna browse. Uh, we're gonna select the ISO file we just downloaded and we click next. Uh, we just have to uh, make sure we select the proper configuration. Um, make sure you select Linux and make sure you select Debian 1064 bit. You Click next. You give it a uh, you give it your uh, special name that you like, whatever name you like. I'm just gonna go with Kali 2020.4 test, and I'm just gonna go next. As far as the space, uh, if you know, uh, you just start uh, working on uh, penetration, ethical hacking, and you're gonna use your Kali machine for quite a while. I'll definitely recommend you. Uh, use like 128 or 256 in gigabyte at least but you know for sake of this um, training video I'm just gonna go with 50 gigabyte for now I'm not gonna change anything here and we're gonna go next uh, over here under customization we're gonna do some changes again you can always uh, go to the setting which I'll show you later uh, but I'll definitely coming you uh, providing more than two gigs of RAM uh, uh, for example, the other virtual machines that I have that I work with, um, they all have like four or eight gig. But you know, for the sake of this video, we stick with two. Same thing for processor. Definitely recommend you, you know, give at least uh, four processor like this to two. But again, for now, we just kind of stick with something basic and nothing else you need to change. But later we come back to it uh, since we got to remove the ISO file that we attached to it. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and close and then we're going to go ahead and click finish. As you can see, I have other virtual machines over here, uh, but this is the one that we just uh, added. So we just uh, click on power on this virtual machine and we're good to go. So the process starts as simple as that. And then if you get uh, the display, uh, like a small size, you simply click on this and you select a stretch uh, ratio. Uh, a lot of people like um, to go with different type of installation. You have a lot of option here, but 
I like the graphic one, it's the most common and basic one. So we click on that. We just wait for a little bit. Uh, this might take, you know, two to three minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. But after you pass this phase, you'll go through the process of installation. So I'm just going to give it some time here. All right. All right, so we're going to start uh, the installation process. Basically, uh, select the uh, language that you like, your country, and it's going to go through the process. Basically, we're going to uh, set up the basic configuration. And as soon as these basic configurations are set, I'll ask you for some information that you're going to type in. Right, net for configuration. Here we go. So we start with host name. I'm just going to name it um, Kali, Kali Test. Uh, as our domain name, we leave it blank. Uh, over here, full username, we're just going to stick with test user. Uh, we're just going to name this test user. All right, we need a password. We set up our password. Then we continue. Now you select the region you're in. I'm at Eastern. And then we're pretty much it. Uh, it's going to go through some installation here. We're going to go ahead and stick with the entire disk, select the same option, all files, uh, finish. We're going to go answer yes. Then we should be good to go. <laughs> All right, so it take about a couple of minutes, uh, two or three minutes uh, to go through those basic configuration. Now here, now we are here at the final phase. Uh, if you like the old platform of uh, Kali Linux, uh, don't change any of these. I would definitely recommend you select the uh, large um, additional tools that gives you all the tools. But if you want to get the new platform, you can go ahead and select these two options as well, just for a graphical view. And then this would take another uh, two to three minutes and you should be good to go. All right, so that didn't take that long either. Uh, you can select different graphical view. I just like to stick with the GDM3, but these are different graphical view. You can always change them. It's as simple as uh, running a couple of shell scripts, but uh, you can switch around. But I'll stick with that one. And we'll wait another two, three minutes, and we should be done. All right, it took uh, about 10, 10, 15 minutes, again, depending on how fast your device is. Then you'll get to this page asking for install GRUB bootloader. If you go ahead and click yes, then we select the second option, which is dev SDA. Then we'll click next and we should be done in a couple of seconds. All right. And continue and it's going to restart. As soon as it's a restart and it's back up, we select the first option. It's going to start booting up. And over here, after you finish installing and after it went to the booting, just click on I finished installing. And then you have your Kali Linux uh, good to go. Here we go. Uh, we're going to select our user. We're going to put our special password and we're logged in our new uh, virtual machine. We do recommend you while we're waiting for this to load, 
uh, recommend you to right click on this, go, go to uh, setting, and then under the setting, go to storage and disk, uh, remove the check mark from here, and then select, uh, that's it. Just uncheck this, click OK, so next time it doesn't uh, run the ISO file, and you're good to go. You have your uh, I mean, Kali Linux machine ready to start. Okay, before we uh, do the app update, I'll definitely recommend you to reset your uh, root password. For that, you do sudo i, and then you do pass uh, wd, and then you put your user password, and then you put your new uh, root password right here, and make sure you come up with something different and something complicated. It won't show when you're typing, but it is taking it. As soon as you got that, uh, we're back to our normal user. We're gonna go ahead and do a clear. And now the only thing we gotta do is, is a sudo apt update. And we're gonna do a sudo apt uh, upgrade. All right, as soon as we click yes, it's going to ask us a question to say yes or no. We're going to click Y right here and we click yes. And it's going to go through the update. This would take about 10, 15 minutes again. But as soon as that's run, your Kali Linux is ready to use. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you very much again. Have a great day. Bye bye.